Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. You'll get access to our full technical analysis, our live stream, live trading, and also our signal service. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have fallen uh, quite a bit today. We were down 1.5%, but now we have rallied a little bit and now are down 07 So this was expected. This market was fairly overstretched and it basically needed a, a pullback. But as you can see, we didn't even get close to the 20 exponential moving average before we basically rallied. So that is an indication that we are in a market that is very bullish at this point. But these are the highs that we need to break in order to go significantly higher. So when we break 3,650 there, give or take, we are heading towards 4,000 in the S&P 500. I have no interest in basically shorting this. I am basically buying every single dip towards the 20 exponential. Um, and even though we get a little bit lower than that, I'll even buy more because we are in a market that is going to continue to increase. Um, we are just waiting for another stimulus news and then we'll just continue to the upside. There's a massive lot, a lot of liquidity in this market and that is basically the only thing that this market cares about is basically liquidity and not the coronavirus or anything that is basically over at this stage but we could stick around here for some time as you can see most of these technical indicators are turning around for example the macd does the stochastic and also the cci are turning around but i don't think that we'll go lower than the 20 exponential moving average that's around here that's around 3556 that is where we'll see a lot of buyer come, buyers come in and we actually didn't get lower than these previous highs over here. That's why we had this pullback. But even though that breaks the 20 exponential, which also is the middle of the Bollinger Band, which is the normal uh, 20 moving average, that will be um, an area where a lot of buyers will come in and uh, buy this to the upside. So no interest in basically shorting this. If that occurs, I'm definitely buying the S&P 500. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar. We need to break these previous highs here in order to go higher. And when we do that, we go actually 30, uh, 31,000, 32,000. That is where we are going after this. But it may take some time, but the same is here. I don't think that will break the... 20 exponential moving average that is also the previous highs over here there will be a lot of buyers coming in pressuring this up at least to 30 uh, 30 thousand so this is roughly uh, 29,300 there give or take um, the technical indicators here are looking fairly bearish at this point it just doesn't mean that we are going to break down like we did over here that's not what we're looking at so we may go towards the 20, probably the, the 40. If we are to the 50, just see this, a massive green uh, candlestick um, if we get basically get to the 50. So at this point, pullbacks are buying opportunities and uh, we are not oversold, not overbought. So there's a lot of room to the upside in the Dow Jones. So let's look at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, this is even more bullish. Um, we broke down 1.5%. We're still down 0.25% uh, at this point, but we didn't even get close to the 20 exponential. So that is down uh, at 11,961. And I think that 12,000 is probably as far as this market goes. That is also where we basically got uh, roughly 12,000. We'll see a lot of buyers come in when we get to around this area here, which is around roughly 12,000. So we need to take out these previous highs in order to go higher. And yeah, I think it's just a matter of time. 
there's a lot of room to the upside still is at 64 uh, the other technical indicators are looking fairly bearish at this uh, bullish at this point so probably tomorrow or wednesday we are going to take out these previous highs and then go to the all-time highs here so i'm definitely bullish on the nasdaq so let's look at some of these big tech stocks and as you can see most of them are in the red so i made an investment in most of these stocks because i think they are going to increase um the next month uh, quite significantly apple is the one that's doing best at this point and google is the one that's doing worst but we'll start by looking at netflix so netflix is down roughly one percent is trading between the 40 and the 150 uh, moving average and at this point i think it's just a matter of time before we go significantly higher if we go lower then the floor is the 150 moving average and that is roughly 481 um, if we break the um, break the 40 exponential moving average we are going to worst of 50 that is around at 500 dollars a share and if that breaks then we are going significantly higher so we have been trading within this area here the previous highs and the very lows here so this is what i'm targeting i think it's just a matter of time before we basically break out of this area here because i'm not favoring the downside whatsoever and we can see that both the macd the stochastic all of these indicators are technically turning around and are indicating that we are ready to go higher so definitely a buyer for netflix <clears throat> sorry then we have microsoft and as you can see we have broken down 1.36 percent today we found uh, uh, we found support at the 100 moving average that is around here as 211 dollars a share and at this point i think we are going to rally higher from here we need to take out these highs of uh, 216 and then these highs here at 219 before we go to these very highs here at 228 and beyond that so definitely a buyer for microsoft uh, stock um technical indicators are fairly mixed but uh, considering that this is going to be december and there is going to be a lot of online buying going going to occur that will only benefit uh, most of these tech stocks apple is doing really well it has rallied from the 50 moving average we are looking to take out these uh, previous highs so at 221 dollars then we are going to these highs at 20 um, 125 dollars before we go to the very highs of 138 dollars if we break down from here then the uh, 100 moving average at 113 dollars a share is significant support so i'm definitely favoring the upside in apple stock as you can see most of the indicators are looking very bullish at this point and we have a lot of room to the upside we're only at 70 uh, 57 in the rsi and uh, tomorrow's probably going to be a very good day for apple stock so amazon is down uh, nearly one percent we broke towards a uh, very low here at uh, 3129 and then rallied again a little bit and now we're just at the 50 moving average so um yes what you can see here i think that we are going higher as i said previously uh, there is going to be a lot more online buying and that will only benefit uh, for example amazon alibaba and so on um, and even though we break down from here the 150 moving average is definitely as far as this market will uh, go and that is a massive buying opportunity as well and that is a roughly 3000 so we are targeting 3550 that is the previous highs here and that is a move of roughly uh, roughly 12 percent so in december that is what i think will occur is that we'll move slowly towards the upper, upper here and gain roughly 12 percent in amazon stock so we look at tesla tesla has broken down quite significantly today we were we are down half a percent but we went all the way roughly seven percent today we were down and now we are only 0.41 percent down so 
we have been on this ridiculous rally here. We have been rallying roughly 50% in the last two weeks. And that is just, that's not sustainable. And this candlestick here is a basically a, a warning that we are most likely going to go lower. Distance between the, the, 50, uh, the MACD and the signal line are is substantial at this point. You just look at the RSI is at 86 at this point. So watch out below. This is most likely going towards the, the 20 exponential moving average. And that is roughly minus 13% before we rally from here. Probably won't go that far, probably 9% or something like that. But um, this is this is Tesla. It will bounce from there, but it needs to pull back because it's way overstretched. So buying at this level is really ridiculous. You need to wait until we get towards the, the 20 expansion moving average before it rallies. Something similar to basically your distance between this candlestick and the 20 is basically what is going to happen. So let's look at Facebook. Facebook uh, broke down. Well, quite significantly today, we were we uh, found support here at the 50 moving average. So that is going to be our bottom here. So 269. And at this point, we're just looking for the upside. These technical indicators have not turned around. The RSI has and uh, uh, but yeah, technically RI, RSI has, but the other ones have not turned around. So what we are targeting here is these previous highs at 297 and these previous all down highs at four, $304 a share. If we break down from here, then of course the 100 moving average at $265 is your absolute bottom of this market. So there's a lot of room to the upside. Even though you buy it here, it's still not risky. You probably stay a few days until you get, if you go down here and then you rally to the upside. It certainly will not break the 100 moving average. As you can see, it has been massive support for a very long time. So let's look at Google. And this was not um, this was not a, a surprise that we broke down in Google. It has been rallying all the way back here to the very high here point here. That's roughly 29% uh, within the last uh, month. And that is a substantial uh, gain for Google stock in, in November. It's one of the best performing stocks of these tech stocks in November. When you can, uh, so yes. So, but we have found support several times at the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, I do believe that we're just gonna see more of the same. We're probably gonna test the, 50, the 20 exponential moving average around 1732. If that breaks, then we have the 40 here at 1677. And even better, we have the 50 moving average here at 1617. I will be all over this if we get down here or even better, the 100 moving average at 1580. Technical indicators for this are looking fairly bearish at this point because it was so overbought. We're at uh, 48 at this point, so we have fallen quite a bit, but stochastic is negative, the MACD is negative, the CCI is turning negative. We only need to break this 20 moving average in order to go all the way down to 1675. Uh, that is the 40 exponential moving average. So I'm not a buyer here yet. I need This needs to fall significantly further, turn around before entering this market. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Click the subscribe button there in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.